This show contains seeds of violence, coarse language, and mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. I'm gonna fucking murder you myself! But I don't wanna do that. You know, it disappoints me to have to kill people. I, I, I don't feel good about that, but I'm gonna do it, alright? So, hopefully I don't have to, cause you look like an okay guy, John. Are you an okay guy? Are you one of them rats? Hell no, I ain't no rat. Now get me my fucking money. 22k of dirty cash. One week. Everybody needs stolen yeah, business I got at some one. point. You got one there? Good, good, good. Well, I, I got one coming up in two hours. I'm going to try and snag. Oh. So, uh, yeah, you nice. got a hotel, so... Maybe take, uh, three guys with you, you know? Yeah, yeah, before yeah. you finish the hotel, well, what the fuck are you two guys wearing? What the fuck is wearing? this? Yeah, I don't know. Not I fucking Tuesday, I don't know, this, this it's man... It's casual Tuesday. Tuesday. My, my kinda... My kinda looks fine, but what the fuck? I don't even know who that is. Is that Richard? It's Bianchi, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck he's wearing. He needs two things. <laughs> Everything new about that Richard and a new except haircut. for the and you look like a fucking, a fucking hate grocery. Oh, I felt like going in the pool today, so don't judge. I get you. I have Fine. an issue, Jimmy. Yeah, what's the issue? Oh, Richard, there. Uh, we need to have a talk <laughs> with him, remember? Huh, I do. You're right. Thought you could get away with it, huh, Richard? With what? Kyle, you know what to do. I would advise you not to play smartass with me, Mr. Bianchi. <sighs> Richard, Richard, Richard. You really screwed up. Come on, me. I always loved a good show. Fucking try anything, either. I don't think I've ever seen a face so pale. Well, turn around. Face the dawn. He was pissing sweat and clearly trying to understand. You see, there's something we like to do around here. <sighs> Give him a good scare before being made. It's fun. So, you got anything to say for yourself? Wondering what this is about. Yeah, I bet you are. I bet you are. Give me your hand. So I can make you into a made man. Congratulations. Richard later came to me seemingly upset about something. Mr. Moretti, I don't think you've had the news already. Now what news is that? You know when I sometimes fly back, uh, fly back to Broker during my uh, short absences. Oh yeah, yeah. Just about to leave home and come back a few days ago, and uh, hmm. my got cancer. Oh god, that's that's horrible, Richard. If there's anything we can do, uh, you just let me know, okay? No, I know. We later met with some biker guys, apparently also hating Andriachi. Very nice place. Nice place, right? Thanks, uh, man. I appreciate it. With uh, Brett and uh, Stevie, yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm Stevie. Good to see you boys again. I'm uh, I'm guessing you made it out with your cocaine run, okay, huh? Yeah, of course, man. Always. We talked earlier, huh? And before you uh, tried to rob me, hey, again. No, I'm <laughs> doing, yeah. <laughs> but uh, anyways, I I do hear that we have possibly a common enemy. Absolutely. These Andriachis like to step over everybody. They don't leave nothing for no one. You know, I am not a fan of that shit. We live in the 21st fucking century. It's time to do things right, and everybody deserves a piece. You know, hopefully we can find some common ground here together. I mean, uh, when I bought this place, I was going to buy, you know, the club that's across the street. The Bahama Mama? Yeah. But they have it. Kind of pissed me off a little bit. We actually try to get along with them. We try to be nice to them. But uh, they literally, you know, spit in our face and told us, we want every property, and uh, like uh, my boss to my right here said, you gotta share these days, which is why, you know, you let me do the coke and peace, and I let you do the coke and peace. It's called sharing. You know, me and Jimmy here are very upset with this, and we're working on a lot of things to make sure that they get the fucking message, all right, that they're not the fucking kings of this place, all right? Nobody's the fucking king, so, uh, yeah, they're pissing on everybody, and we're gonna piss on them, because what we need to do is stop them everywhere they go. No matter what, all right? If you don't have enough people with you, then we have enough people with us. Vice versa. You get what I mean? We have to make them understand that they don't own the shit around here. You feel outnumbered? We're just a call away. 
We're not looking to kill yet. Just sending a message. Brandon had brought a new hopeful to me. Already proved to be very resourceful to us. Yeah, my name's Kakashi Nakamura. Well, it's nice to meet you. Likewise, He's likewise. Evil. Leah calls me up one day, she wants me to meet him. He's looking for people to run with, so I've been talking to him for the last, like, week. Week or so. Yeah. Figure him out. I don't know. I offered him to be a bit of a hopeful. So if you're standing here, then I'm supposing that you have this passion. You want to work in this line, right? Yeah, Mr. <laughs> Toronto, he was telling me, you know, you had your hands in a little bit of everything, and, you know, I like a little piece of everything. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> Getting a piece of everything. I like him already. Well, I think you're gonna do just fine. Yeah, yeah, I like him too. Valentine is inside. Maybe we should go inside to do that, should we? Maybe. You know. Mm, yeah, I'll just finish my smoke. Yeah. I'll be right in. Yeah, let him finish smoke. Of course, of course. Uh, Cal, why don't you come with me? Yeah, yeah. It was nice meeting you. I'm sure you have uh, lots of things to talk to me about later, but I'll go ahead and go inside. Yeah, of course, of course. It's a pleasure. All right. Well, set inside. Oh, yeah, all right. Mr. Murray, we have a little something for you. We do appreciate all the things you do for us, you know. We, uh, we're a family now because of you. And, uh, yeah, we wanted to show you we appreciate that. So, Kyle, if you would. Yeah, so, uh, Don Moretti, on behalf of the family, I would like to present you with this. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, it was, uh, not easy it, to man. get, I assure you. Oh, my God, that's... <laughs> That's just goddamn beautiful to see. It's too much. <laughs> it's too much. Yeah, here, I'll let you hold it. Ah, yeah. I really like it. I wish I could try it right now, but yeah. yeah beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> One day I might hey. get the uh, pleasure to uh, give it a try. Yeah, but yeah, it does Hey, we can good. always go to the mountains, you know? Ah, if yeah. we got nothing planned. Really you know what? Maybe we should. I do know that there is a little uh, event uh, happening. Uh, out near Grapeseed tonight. Uh, you remember uh, Mr. Westfall? Yeah, he and his uh, club are having a little uh, MC barbecue up in Grapeseed. Not sure if that's something you want to attend, as I don't know who will be there, but I mean, I can certainly inquire as, uh, as to who we might expect to see. Uh, that's, that's good, yeah, we should attend. Very well, I'll go get a hold of Cletus right now, make sure we uh, and us are as prepared as we can be. Excuse me. Before leaving, Sal got word of two bikers who attempted to murder Snow Longbeard Andriachi under the Moretti name. Two bikers rolled up on him yesterday outside of his club, him and a friend of his. Didn't get a name. And, uh, shot at them. They did this after telling them, uh, that the Morettis sent their regards. And that's gonna be the boys now, that we recently talked with. Bikers, Cletus people? Those aren't Cletus people. Those are, uh, well, the two we spoke to uh, are acquaintances okay. of some of Cletus people. But uh, no, they are not affiliated with them at all. They simply met them. Now, uh, we have a couple options here. I mean, if we want to stay very peaceful with the uh, Driachis and with Longbeard, we uh, cut the head off our little unfortunate friendship there. But uh, another option is, of course, you know, to simply hope it goes away or have a talk with them, make sure they understand that they do not fucking use the family name. I never ordered a goddamn hit on the Andriachis. I'm still waiting to sit down with these people. I don't know why they, you know, I said, I said, yeah, when you see them, huh? when you see them, you teach them a lesson. You don't teach a lesson to a dead guy. What the fuck's a dead guy gonna learn? Until I sit uh, with the Andriachis and make it official. I ain't sending out no hits, so these, these biker guys that we just fucking met, they fucking took it on their own and, and slapped a name on that shit. That is unacceptable. I'll be honest with you there, Mr. Moretti. He uh, came in, gun drawn, put it to my head with his friend, put me in cuffs, took me right over to an alleyway, right over there, had a little word with me. I told him, uh, look, Mr. Longbeard, I understand why the fuck you're doing this. I get it. I'm not against it. I understand why. But you have to understand we're not idiots here. We don't fucking order hits on people we don't have any issues with. Okay, we, we try to do business. What well, we want is business that's good for everyone. I think I talked him down, but uh, he was not happy. I would not be happy either. I really would. I can only imagine. This, uh, you know, we're gonna have to talk with them soon. I really hope that they come through and fucking pull a meeting soon. Maybe this whole thing is gonna get them, you know, contacting us sooner than expected.
We went to the Dead View MC to meet Cletus, but I was also surprised to see Natasha working at the bar. Needless to say, I was a little distracted. But you need to wind off a little bit, eh? Yeah, probably. Might change into something comfy or something. I've been wearing heels all day. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, I bet those feet are killing you. Hey, you know, maybe we can Most do something definitely. later if you want. You know, you just you and me. Yeah, yeah sure, I'll be down. All right, there, beautiful. Hey, is there a policy against cocaine here? No, you can do some coke, man. It's all good, man. You don't mind, darling? I'll do it right here. No, go ahead. Leave just a little extra for me. Well, all right, no problem. Meanwhile, Banks, Kyle, and Valentine met up with John Thompson. It was time for him to pay up the 22K of dirty cash. Evening. Hey, Mikey, baby. Mr. Banks? Mr. Thompson. Please, over here. All right, Mr. Thompson. Who's the one that I owe the money to? Mr. Banks, you're looking at him. All right, brother. All right, here's the situation. I got caught twice so far. I got 19 grand dirty so far, and I got 15 clean. Yeah, I can. Uh, I can do the rest of that. 19 dirty and 15 clean. That'll work. Yeah, my bad. I came up a little short on the dirty, but. As I said, there's too many cops around, uh, nope. you know what I mean? There's no, I appreciate Mr. it. I appreciate it, Mr. Thompson. You got, uh, I do, uh, I took your old phone. Do you have a new phone number? Uh, I don't have a phone. Fuck, I forgot all about that. I don't even have a phone. All right, here, I'm going to give you my phone number. As soon as we're done with this little conversation here, you're going to go to the convenience store, buy a new phone, and you're going to text me, okay? All right. All right, very well. Thank you for doing business, Mr. Thompson. You may be on your way. This will go very well in the Don's eyes, I promise you. I later met with Cletus and officially aligned our family with the Dead Few MC. Cletus Cat. Hey, Cletus. Cletus uh, yeah, it's, uh, nice to meet you. Thanks for the beer earlier. Eh? <laughs> uh, you're welcome, man. No, no. Very nice to meet you, Mr. Moran. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's nice to meet you, Cletus. You run an organization, a, a, a club, really, is what it is, right? Yeah, we're uh, a bunch of barking enthusiasts. You know, with a bit of a uh, bit of jobs on the side. Yeah, of yeah. course, of, of course. course, of course. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm the owner of a, of a scrapyard. That's what I do. <laughs> hey, that'll be good. Hey, um, Mr. Moretti, if you never need anything up this side of uh, Los Santos, you let me know. Yeah, all right. Later, Sal opened up split sides for me so I could treat Natasha to a nice relaxing dinner. Hey. Hi. Hey, you, uh, you look very beautiful tonight, eh? Oh, thank you. I'm sorry, I didn't have a chance to change. I've been. No, no, working. it's okay. Doesn't matter what you wear. And you make anything work, it's quite obvious. There's some wine on the table, oh, but there's, thank there's you. something else you would like, yeah? No, I, I, wine's good. I love wine. Alright, alright. Hey, Banks, make sure that uh, her cup stays filled, eh? Yeah, no. Well, I thought, you know, you've been working so hard, and it was a good time to, uh, I'll let you relax and unwind a little bit, and have a good meal. Oh, thanks. Hey, as you could see, yeah. I got some, uh, homemade spaghetti here, my mama's recipe, too. I've been craving some spaghetti. There's not a lot of Italian places out here. No, there's not, and it's quite a shame. Right? I've been dying for a cannoli. <laughs> you and me both. <laughs> Oh, it's a good recipe. Mm. Yeah, thank you. That's yeah. really good. You know, it still doesn't do justice uh, to uh, the way my mama used to make it. Eh? <laughs> oh, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. It's still it delicious. Well, thank you. I do my best. Yeah, I'd like to get to know you a little better. I, I think that's quite obvious at this point. <laughs> so you say you're from Liberty City, eh? Yeah. I just got here a couple weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Uh, uh, from Broca. Myself, I spent uh, pretty much all of my life there. I was born and raised, and uh, you know, I was a taxi driver for a long time, too. I worked in a club, pretty much what I do now. Yeah. I was a dancer for about 10 years but in Liberty City before I came out here. But then it started getting really bad. He started tricking me out, and he got abusive, and uh, he almost killed me because I, I I, I kind of was taking some money so I can leave, so I uh, took some money and bounced. I used to sell it for him, but I had to get out of there. Yeah. So I got the first train and headed out to here. Hmm. 
I just don't want you to ever feel forced around me to do anything you don't want to do, okay? No offense, but, you know, I'm pretty a fucking independent woman. I, no mm. one's gonna force me to do shit anymore, yeah. that's for sure. Yeah, I have to talk to death from you pretty quickly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've learned to take care of myself, you know? I don't really depend on anybody. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, you're a wonderful lady, Natasha. And I think a wonderful lady deserves a good time. Well, I appreciate you. <laughs> oh, the tattoos, huh? So you uh, yeah, I you into that, eh? <laughs> oh yeah, I love tattoos. Yes, they look nice on you. You'll make them work really well. I I was never. Thank you. I was never much of a tattoo guy. You know, I don't have ink myself. Huh? It's just I'm not a fan of the uh, needle per se. But uh, I know how to admire, and I do indeed admire what I see. You ever get into any kind of trouble, anything? I want you to know that I'm there, that my guys are there, and they will help you, no matter what. Thank you so much. Of course. I appreciate it. <laughs> hmm. Almost done there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm pretty good. Thank you. For, I appreciate the invite. <laughs> Boys are always trying to get it, but they don't know how to get it. You're a woman who deserves to Wait. be conquered, you know? You're a woman who deserves to have that <laughs> man who, who, who gives a shit, you know, and just doesn't come up to you and goes... Hey, you want a date? You know? Hey, you want to marry me two days later? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> There's too oh, much of that going that. around. Yeah, fuck that shit. I, yeah. yeah, too much. It's almost like I don't want to drink the water. I don't want to catch what everyone's got. Hmm. I'm just a, a man who's, you know, preoccupied by a lot of things. And, and you just so happen to remove all those thoughts from my mind. It's a good well, feeling. Well, I'm happy I can do that. And I'll be happy to, you know, hang out with you or do whatever, you know? That's nice. Help you relax when you need to. If you need a, someone, you know, like on your your side, on your arm for like a event or anything, oh. you know, I'd be willing to help you out too. Well, if I'd want you around my arm, it wouldn't just be to make me look good, trust me. Yeah, I'm genuinely interested in you, and I don't even want you to reply to that. I just want you to enjoy your night. I want you to know that I am interested, because I don't go around in circles. If I see something that I like usually, I just go for it. That's how my mama taught me, you know? You don't hesitate. <laughs> Something was happening that hasn't happened in a long time. I was falling in love. We proceeded our evening at the Del Perro Pier, where I had to ask the obvious question. It's pretty obvious that we got some age difference going on, so I'm just gonna outright and ask it. How old are you? Yeah, 25. 25, huh? So what about you? How old are you? I hate this part. Hey, you asked me and I told you that, buddy. Well, uh, I'm 44. Scared me. Okay, you? and? No. <laughs> right. No. I don't know. It's just usually it uh, seems like not a thing that appeals to many young ladies like you. <laughs> Age is just a fucking number. It is. Like, it really doesn't matter. Yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> ah, it's a beautiful night, eh? It's really nice. The stars are so bright. Yeah. The moon is gorgeous. I never felt more nervous in my whole life. I love seeing the lights of the city. Like, it's, yeah. so, it's so nice. It is nice. You, uh... You know, you know what I do, right? I'm sure you got a pretty good idea. Yeah. Doesn't it scare you? Nah. Huh. If it did, I wouldn't have come. Yeah, you make a good point. <laughs> I'm not like the smartest, but you know, I'm from fucking Liberty City. I, I know what the deal is. What made you want to go this way? Yeah. My family was in this okay. business, you know. Uh, my brother and my uh, my father, you know, they both died due to that business. I was really close to my brother. It was the hardest hit. I love my father, God rest his soul, but you know. My, uh, yeah, my brother just special to me. A little brother, you know, I was supposed to take care of him. Mm. And I kind of didn't do that. Uh, can't I'm sure myself. it wasn't your fault. No, no, I know it wasn't my no, fault. No, it wasn't your fault. It, it's nice that you got family, you know? Like, no. I have no family. I was dropped off at, you know, a fucking orphanage. I, I, that's all I ever knew. Bouncing around foster families. Uh, uh, that must have been horrible, growing up like that. Not having a mother or a father there for you. 
Oh, I have foster brothers and fathers that would like to touch me and be crazy. One day I just walked away. You wouldn't be here if it wasn't for that ballsy move. No young girl deserves that. You're too sweet. I appreciate you bringing me down here. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate you coming. Of course. Sorry, I'm just enjoying the moment. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> we had a great time, but I actually wanted to take it slow with her. I didn't want to lose this feeling again. I just knew she would be the one. But enough with the cheese fest. Hey, Mr. Moretti. Enjoying the view, are we? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. As usual, you know, just uh, gonna head into the uh, scrapyard and finish up some paperwork soon. Hey, uh, have you seen uh, Richard at all lately? Yankee? Oh, no. I haven't seen that guy for, uh, it must be coming up on at least a week. Well, he's, com more. he's coming in once in a while. He's just he's not here as often as I'd like. I understand about his mother, you know, uh, I, the whole cancer thing. Uh, she's sick and all. I mean, you know, Jimmy's guy at the airport, he came back with nothing. No, none of our guys have left this place. I'm sure he wouldn't have, uh, you know, left without telling anyone. At least last time he did, you know. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, I know. Uh, something's up with him. Uh, he's not answering no text either today, so I'm kind of wondering. Uh, anyways, find him and, uh, you know, maybe follow him, see what's up, you know what's going on with him, where he's been uh, and what he's been doing. Absolutely. I mean, I can't picture uh, can't picture Bianchi doing anything, you know, on to watch against uh. the family, but... Uh, yeah, I'm interested too. I'm curious. I would well, be. Uh, you know, I like, like to, know to know about my uh, my guys. You know, in this family, and uh, I'm not saying he's doing anything bad here. You know, I just want to know because he might be telling me one thing, and then it's another thing. You know, maybe he's into a girl or something. Uh, I don't know, but you yeah. can't just you know sign up for this family and not fucking show up to work. I got a couple ideas where he might hang out. You know, some of his old uh, haunts. If I don't find nothing, I'm gonna go check the hospitals. I mean, he's not a guy who gets hurt easily, you know, but. Yeah, yeah but I mean, may maybe he's depressed or something, you know, and I'm just kind of, uh, I don't know, I'm kind of worried. You know, his mother and all that is just, that, you know, I know what it's like to lose a mother, you know. And uh, he, he didn't lose her, but the feeling of just knowing that he might, just might drive him to do something he might regret. So, I don't know, check up on him, follow him, see what he's up to. Of course. Well done, Mr. Moretti. Done yet? Eh? Not yet, Mickey. I'm getting round to it, alright? Hey, 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 Richard, Richard, listen to me here, eh? Hey, I thought, I thought you wanted to fucking help your mother here, eh? It will happen by the end of today, Mickey. As long as I get my money at the end of the day, for my mum to get her treatment, you keep your end, I'll keep mine. Today, alright? Hey, so you, you got anything else for me? You know, just in case you're fucking back down on this shit again? Hey, any information? Where the fuck this guy What's staying, eh? I want Jimmy and I want Tony. I want both of them. You understand? Yo, Mancini's not gonna be fucking here's happy about this, eh? Still not fucking done. No, He's on my no. ass. He's riding right, me. Here's the address. Where both of them live. But he slip of his hours. How long he stays there. Who he sees sometimes. Who works there. How many times the whole family is there every week. Hey, all right. Well, I'll take that fucking info right now. But I swear to God, yeah, Ricky, you gotta fucking do this. Family's quite heavily armed now, so anybody else you call in, they're gonna have quite a hard time. They've got a lot of hardware now. You do that job, and then she'll have everything she needs, your mother. Understand? Everything she needs. My word. Yeah. Mancini's word. Okay? Don't do this. 
and it's too late for you, and it's too late for her. It's too late for everybody. If I have to call in some more boys from Broker, it's gonna cost Mancini a whole lot of fucking money, and he's not gonna like that if we have to fucking do this job ourselves, okay? You're close, you could do this nice and quick. I don't care how you do it, just fucking do it. All right. Jesus fucking Christ, Richie.